Hello guys and welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can add meta tags in WordPress and we're going to be using the post available here on um, WP Marks. I'm going to leave a link in the description to this post and so you can actually use this as a guide. Okay. So first of all, what are meta tags? So meta tags are um, HTML fragments that identify websites or web page information so what meta tag essentially do is they help search engines understand what your page or your post is all about okay so if you have a wordpress website and you have posts and pages and you want them to be indexed by google and you want them to rank well you're gonna need to add meta tags so this is an example of a meta tag we have the tag name meta and we have two attributes here we have name and we have content so the name here is description and the content is whatever you add here. So for example, this is the content for this specific post. Okay. So, uh, if you go through the posts, you're going to see more information about, uh, meta tags. So we have title description and keywords. So why are meta tags so important? They are, they help your website to rank. Okay. So they help Google to understand what your website content is about all your pages, your categories, your homepage. They just basically give a short description of what the page is about and what the user is expected to get from the page when they visit it. Okay. So once somebody visits Google and this uh, description under here, once they read this, they will be more likely to click on the post and view your content. And this also helps you rank. So if you notice here, the keyword here is WP marks and WP marks is in the description. So if you don't have a description, uh, chances for the chances of your website content ranking, it's very, very slim. So this is quite important. So there are two basic ways you can add meta tags in WordPress. Um, the first one requires no plugins, so you don't need to add any plugins, um, and it works with every single theme. So I'm just going to walk you through how that's done. So you go over to WP content slash your theme and you look for function.php and after that you add in all this code. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to get your functions.php, uh, from your WordPress, uh, dashboard here. So you log into your dashboard. Go over to appearance and click on theme editor. Okay. So once that's done, you select the current theme that you're using. So um, in this case, we're using 2020 and just scroll down and you're going to find the functions file. Okay. So teams function. Okay. So it's up here. So once you click on this, it's going to open the teams function file. Just scroll down to the bottom here before this last add action. So before your footer, if you don't have a footer here, you can also add any code here. Just make sure it um, doesn't uh, conflict with any other code you have here. So we'll go back to the post and we'll copy this function here and paste it over here. Okay. So I'm going to explain what this code does. Uh, the first thing this post does, it checks if uh, the page is a post or if it's your home page or if it's a category page. So uh, it gets the post content and it truncates it to 300 words. All right. It's because uh, meta, meta tags, uh, uh, they have a word limit. So you can add more than 300 characters. So that's why this, uh, it always has to make this 300. So once it takes your post content, converts it to 300, it up outputs it into this meta tag here. So, uh, whatever your post is about, is, uh, the first 300 characters are going to be added here in the meta, uh, tag. So it also does the same thing for your homepage. So if any search bot comes to your homepage, it's going to see this description here. So it actually gets description from whatever you write when you are creating your WordPress website in your general, um, same thing for categories. When you're creating a category, you can add a description. It just simply pulls that, that pulls out that category description and adds it here. So that's basically what, uh, this code does. It helps you to automatically populate your entire website with the first 300 words of every single content page. 
okay so that's one way of doing things you can also add um, keywords but there's no proof that Google actually uses this but you can actually add this to your website okay um, so let's scroll down to the plugin aspect of this tutorial so to make things way way easier it's advice you use a plugin so there are a few seo plugins out there we have rank mats we have all in one seo we have yoast but for this tutorial we're just going to be focusing on rank mats because rank mats is basically the latest seo plugin with a lot of essential features so let's just go back and i'm not going to save this uh, i'm just i just added this for demonstration purposes so we'll go over to plugins and i already have rank mats installed i'm just going to activate it and i'm going to show you how you can add meta tags so i've already set up a uh, rank mat seo for this site if you want to learn how to set up rank mat seo uh, we have a video on our channel for this so just uh, search the channel and you're going to get this video uh, we also have a video for yours so the exact same process so if you want to add in meta description for any post or any page just go over to the post so i'm just going to edit one of these I'm gonna edit this and show you how you can actually add meta tags. So the page is loaded. For rank mats, uh, once you load your editor, you're gonna see this rank mat widget up here. So just click on it and um, over here, you're gonna see different fields. So you can add in a focus keyword, uh, but what we're interested in is adding meta tag for this post. So just click on edit snippet and it's gonna bring out these meta tags fields. So you can add in any meta tag here. So this is the title that's gonna show on uh, search engines. Then we also have the permalink and we have the description. So you can change the title of um, the title meta and you can also change the description meta. So you can add in anything here. This is a post about adding meta tags. And you can change the title also. And whenever somebody searches this on Google, this is what they're gonna see. Meta tag description. This is a post about adding meta tags okay but if you leave this at the default it's just going to pull in the title from your post okay and if you don't add anything here also it's going to pull in the exempt so whatever you typed here it's just going to add it here so what rank mats helps you do is it helps you to add in this code here automatically in its own way and it also helps you to be able to edit individual meta tags for individual posts okay so you don't just have one code running in your entire site so that's why it's advised to use a plugin instead of adding the code manually you can also do the same thing with yours they have a very similar um, approach just edit the snippets and add in all your code so i hope you guys found this video useful um, if you want to get more information about meta tags or adding meta tags you can click on the post in the description and if you have any questions related to adding meta tags on wordpress don't hesitate to ask via the comment section below with everything covered for this video i'll see you guys in the next one